And we're recording. Hi, Heather. Hi, Ashley Jane. I feel like we're on a podcast. <laughs> That's it, exactly. But then over time, it was like, wait a minute, how do we encourage a person who's watching a service alone to do, to, to actually engage in it as if almost we were in, able to sing as a group or whatever. And I thought, how do I make the thing sound almost as if we were in a congregation? And the idea was if I, if I personally pretend that I'm four different sopranos and I'm four different altos, now the person who's listening might hear, again, these 20 voices. And the idea is that each of those 20 tracks has just enough little different bits to each of them that they sound like 20 different. We started to joke after a while that with all of this layering, we start to sound like a choir. And we live here on Myrtle Street, but there are only two of us. So we are the Myrtle Street Choir. So we send them out what we call Myrtle Street Choir. And then they play that in their ears while recording themselves singing along. Oh. Oh. They're singing along, of course, to what, what it is, and then their recording is just oh. that. We do four sopranos, four altos, four tenors, four basses, and then it turns out, well, all, of course, underneath all of that starts with the piano track, which means for any one hymn, there are, what, 20 tracks? Two, and then I planned backward. <laughs> this needs to be ready by this time. Therefore, this needs to be ready by this time. Therefore, this needs to be ready by this time and so on. Now we have the soprano track and the piano track. We better line them up. Um, next thing we did send that out to the strings players are all going into a soundboard, which is then going into a computer. So she makes the audio and the video that will match each other. She sends me both. And anyway, I created a piano accompaniment to go under her. The um, audio input, the vocal mic, and there's a mic inside this piano. And no, too much, no, the mic inside this piano. We ask Larry to also do male singing melody, and they will play their part lined up with it. Highly produced piece of what would otherwise just be straight up pop music. I'm sitting here going, watching her conducting and the music. Listening. Anyway, I'm impressed by it. And It's not like everybody's doing it and then the com you, know, you upload and the computer goes zip. Um, I've always strongly felt that the sound of Christmas Eve at St. Paul's Church in that beautiful space with those beautiful candles and our greens and all of our people and our, our, our just our beloved occasion. I've always felt that the sound of that is string quartet. Mm. That there's a baby and he's asleep and it's peace after what has been a very difficult night for Mary. And um, yeah, that sound is, just, just paints that picture for me. So. So I wanted our full noise to be able to be included again. There's also a certain justice for me in being sure that because we have to do things differently doesn't mean that people who would ordinarily rely on income have to be robbed of that income. 